Anita, we appreciate you taking the time to visit with us today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Good. <laughs> we'll say we just wanted to sit down and, and visit with you, ask you a few questions. Do you would you like to share with us um, what has been the hardest thing for you in these last few weeks? I'm so happy that I'm here to begin with. Uh, I don't think I could feel any safer anyplace else. But it's been very good. If, if this is the way it has to be, I'm all for it. Happy here. They feed us well, too well. I was thinking I'm going to get rid of my scales. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a couple of things during this time, things that have kept you positive? Or uh, yes, I talked to my family Saturday, I did. One in Oklahoma City, my son, and my daughter about 25 miles out of Decatur. Um, are there, ha is there anything you've done uh, or the staff have done to keep you guys positive? We still have our parties on on Friday where they would go down the hallways and I always wind up with a candy bar or root beer or whatever. If there is something you could say to the Primrose staff, Juanita, what would you say? They don't do things like I would do them, but I'm so glad someone else is doing it. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not too hard to please. What's the first thing you are going to say or do with your family? Probably go to my granddaughter who lives just outside Decatur. And she and her husband have the two little girls. And my daughter, the mother of that family, will be there and we'll just, um, well, hopefully it's warm enough that we can get in the pool. <laughs>